Hello Angular enthusiasts, welcome to our comprehensive guide on utilizing the Mat icon component in your Angular 17 projects. Mat icon lets you easily incorporate scalable vector based icons to enhance your app's user interface. During this tutorial, we will explore the many facets of Mat icon, learn how to integrate it seamlessly and cover the best practices to ensure your icons look great and are accessible. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned pro, this video will equip you with the robust understanding of mad icon usage in angular so let's get started before we dive into the code this is what you will need in the beginning so very first thing that you need is the solid understanding of angular fundamental and then make sure you have angular cli installed and up to date and after that make sure you have an existing angular project set up with angular material if you don't have one then you can simply create a new angular project with the angular cli command like this ng new and your project name okay once you have your project ready then you need to create you need to install the angular material in your project i already have my angular setup and created and this is my angular version of this project that you can see i'm using angular 17 so you just need to run this command ng add angular slash material this would install the angular material and set it up in your project after that i am assuming that you have basic knowledge of html and css to style icons properly so now let's begin first of all ensure that you have the mat icon module imported in your app dot module if you have it or if you are using standalone component then you can directly import it in your app component so this is how you will import it so use mat icon module and import it at the import statement as well like this so here we are importing the necessary module which registers the mat icon directive and making it available for use in your components so now to use a basic icon in your template just add the mat icon component in your html that would look like this okay let's see you can see the icon is now visible so here the text home refers to predefined icon name in material icons font this simple syntax renders a home icon on your screen you can find the list of the angular material icons from this website so here you will see the list of all of the font uh, icons that you can find and use so for example you want to use this font if you click on that it will give you the name of the icon so this is the name of the icon so just copy that part not the entire one let me just extract this middle part and put it in between the tag and you will see that the icon is visible so you can use this search bar to search for the icon for example maybe you want to search for this one thumbs up so click on that you can also copy it from the url as well if you want to or you can simply copy from here as well all right next you can also register icons with mat icon registry so in this way you can use your own custom icon svg icons as well so for svg icons you will need to register them with the mat icon registry class so let's go back to your component in the ts file and you need two services to inject in your component we will use the latest syntax to inject the service we will use the inject function in the past we used to use the constructor to inject the services you can still do that but we can also use the inject function that is more handy so here i will use the name of the service that i'm going to save in mat icon registry is equal to inject make sure to import the inject from the angular core and then pass it the class that you want to inject next we need to have dom sanitizer yeah. and similarly make sure to import it from the angular platform browser now let's create a constructor and within that we will register our svg icon by using this command this dot mat icon registry uh, and there is a function add svg icon now to that svg icon function we will pass two parameters one is the name of the icon like custom icon you can have it any name and second one would be the this dot dom sanitizer dot bypass security trust, trust resource url and then pass it the name of the svg so it can be the name of the svg file can be anything it it can be different like x y z as well now let's try to get some svg some from somewhere right click on that this is the svg open it in a new tab click on the inspect element and copy the entire svg code and let's go to the images folder in the assets and paste that svg in that svg file 
that we just created and make sure that path is correct i think we don't need to specify this but let's see if that works here we are injecting mac mat icon registry and dom sanitizer in our constructor the add svg icon method registers our custom svg icon and dom sanitizer is used to trust the asset url as a safe for consumption to display your registered svg icon we will use this kind of syntax let's go back to the app html let's remove the html between this tag and i will add svg icon and give it the name custom icon okay so this name has to be exactly same that you provided in the second first parameter of the add svg icon function okay uh, here it is saying that could not find http client provider so for that simply we need to go to the app.config and here we need to add a provider provide http client that's it okay now that error has gone now only error is that that it could not find the path so we need to fix the path and it should be fixed actually we have to whitelist this uh, this images folder in the angular.json so we have an asset array so here you can add another item like this slash images and in this way the entire images folder would be whitelisted and we will not get that kind of error okay now we have this path asset slash images slash xyz and after uh, whitelisting the images folder it has started to work now you can see that the svg icon is visible when working with multiple svg icons registering an icon set is more efficient register an icon set similarly to individual svgs so for that open the app.component and instead of using the function add svg we will use add svg icon set function and this time you don't need to specify the first parameter you can keep the keep only one parameter in it in the html file you will just have to specify the name of the icon set so right now and nothing is visible the reason that this name does not exist in our svg so, so to add the name just copy the name and go to your svg file wrap all of the content of your first svg icon in this tag symbol and close that tag like this and now here we will add the id that we want to use like this and at the end you just need to copy this part view box and add it to this symbol as well because i tested without that it was not working let me show you it is currently not working but if you add it then it should start working did you see that okay now we know how to add icons in this way so let me try to add few more svg icons with the same approach and we will see how we can use them all together open few more okay now let's get the svg code for all of these icons just paste it like that now we already have the parent svg tag so we can just simply replace this tag with the symbol tag and at the end i will replace this svg with the symbol as well okay now let's give it an id to this symbol xyz or maybe abc now here i will copy paste it and here i will use the different name abc and you can see the second svg is also being shown with the help of the mat icon now let's keep adding more svgs in this way and try them all together just to see how they look like that's it this is how you can use icon set and use a single svg file and register them only once so in this approach with this approach you don't have to register them multiple times you just register one single svg file and you can just reference them by the name only all right let's look at some practical examples so you can also change the theme of uh, your icons are uh, use different colors so for example here i will replace it with a default icon now here you can simply use the directive color primary okay and we have two more accent and actually let me put them all together 
warn okay primary accent and warn so with these classes or directives the color of icons will match your material themes primary accent and warn colors we can also make interactive icons so for that you can simply add a button here before doing that i need to import another module of my angular material that would be mat icon mat button module now here i will add a directive mat icon button and within that i will just add mat icon home or maybe different icon menu okay now you can see we have a clickable icon button so here the mat icon button directive turns the icon into a clickable button all right you should now have a thorough understanding of how mat icon works with angular 17 and how effectively integrate it into your project remember that icons can dramatically improve user experience when used thoughtfully so take advantage of what we have covered today experiment with different icons and unleash the visual potential of your applications don't hesitate to review the angular material documentation for any updates happy coding and see you in the next tutorial